The Astros are playing their home opener against the Yankees right now. Anthony Antoine Rashi bats and Will Kunkel is outside of Minute Maid Park enjoying this beautiful opening day. How is it outside the game, guys? Well, it just got a lot better. Will, <laughs> Will is here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's America's it, pastime. It it's is. opening day. Yeah. I know you've been just like knee deep with all things U of H with the basketball team Everywhere. there. Everywhere, so, actually. In 90 minutes, I'm leaving to head over to Dallas. So how do you feel about the Astros this season? So I think they're going to be good in the regular season. I think they're going to be able to get into the playoffs. I think their offense is good. I think they're going to be entertaining. It's going to be everything that Astro fans have come to expect. I'm worried about their starting pitching. Like, I'm worried about the middle relief. I think the back end of the bullpen, 7-8-9, good. Starting pitching is my biggest concern. And I'm not going to say that today is a pure example of that because it's one day and it's 162 right. games. Mm -hmm. But from Valdez, four and two thirds, gives up six walks. Like The ball to strike ratio was just about even. Like, you can't have that. Right. And it's a long season. they got to add arms. That's my overarching big picture, Rashi. Yeah. What do you think of it? I pretty think, solid? I think, yeah, pretty solid. I mean, there's so many people that are very excited. It's, a, it's an afternoon game and we had so many people coming out here with their kids so they probably I know, wish they cool. had the roof <laughs> open Anthony like right, right it's God's game under God's sky not man's roof no. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have a beautiful stadium inside but what do you think this first game means for Joe Spotter right obviously new management manager you want to get that first win if they aren't able to win today does that say anything about what we can expect here for the rest of the year I hope not because it's 162 games so like yeah. it's small sample size today for him so I texted him this morning yeah. and I said Joe I enjoy today like, take it all in, win or lose, enjoy this, because you've worked your tail off for a really long time to get right. to this moment. He's interviewed for several jobs prior to this one, didn't get them, including the New York Yankees. He was with them for a long time and didn't get that. Aaron Boone got that job, so he comes back here to Houston, and now he's the manager replacing a Hall of Famer and Dusty Baker. So, like, today's all about enjoying it. Right. Today's just one of those things you've worked your entire life to get to. Win or lose, right. he's going to get his win eventually. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens today, last I checked, I think it was 5-4 Yanks. And he's a good guy. Everything I've seen from him, I mean, I haven't awesome to dude. meet him personally, but everything I've seen from him has been great. I'm sure the team is also behind him. And a lot of guys have been putting in a lot of work in the summertime, mm -hmm. trying to get better. And here we are, opening day. So as we talk about the players a little bit more now, you were mentioning about pitching. That was a concern last year as well. Yeah. Now we made some change on the back end of the bullpen. Talk about Hater as well and how they've tightened up the back end, but that front end still needs some work. Stud. Like Josh Hader, absolute stud for the ninth inning. So Brian Presley, closer last year, yeah. comes in today. Uh, I think it was tied when he entered the game, but in the seventh inning, something very different. Lights didn't go out. His song didn't really come on. The crowd didn't get involved. So he goes from a guy that comes in like amped, ready to roll, right. game on the line, ninth inning. Now it's tied. It's six. Guys are guys and gals are walking around, getting beers, hanging out, talking, not really paying attention like they would be in the ninth. Yeah. So it's a very different feel, very different atmosphere for him. And I believe he gave up one, uh, one that lead off or that run, and they gave the Yanks a 5-4 lead. All right, lots of baseball though. Long season ahead, but Rashi, overall the fans have definitely turned out though. Yes, I feel like a third wheel in this conversation. <laughs> no. But you know, when it comes to just you know eating and drinking, I'm all about all that. And then you know when I hear a woo. I'm What's like, your favorite okay. ballpark food? A uh, hot dog. Yes. Strong answer. Good you? for you. Yeah, it's, answer. What do you put on it? It's, it's mustard. Mustard and onions on the hot dog. Uh, not it? onions. We put ketchup. What do you ketchup? put? Ketchup? No, ketchup? I'm not sick, so, you know, I'm good. All right. Caroline, what do you like? Do you like hot dogs, Caroline? Let's get you chimed in on this. What's going on? I would actually go for the burger over the hot dog. I would. Not going to lie. I just get nervous that they're so dry. That's my um, nerve. Yes, in the, uh, it's that's not at a ballpark, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stick with the peanuts. Trail. Just yeah. get peanuts. We agree about the spicy margaritas. <laughs> right. The, the margaritas are elite American. long there at Minute Maid. There are some strong margs. How, how do you know? <laughs> I may have had one or two in my day. Ooh. But not all <laughs> the anchor does. Best of game of journalist question. <laughs>